Hello my friends and welcome to my laboratory. In the last episode, this bad boy started and ran for 8 seconds. Now that we unlock this achievement, it's time to set another goal. Look, I know this thing is made out of plastic, it exploded 3 times before even starting once, but the goal is to rev to 10,000 RPM. It sounds crazy, I know, but let me cook. With that said, I want to present to you my new engine, the AP2. My name is Alexander and I believe 3D printing is the future of the automotive industry. And I'm here to bring these two worlds together. That's why I set out on a mission, to build the most powerful 3D printed engine in the world. And this is what I came up with. Let me show you all the mods this engine got since the last episode. The one that's most obvious is the fact that the cylinder now sits at a 45 degrees angle. This improves the internal geometry and also reduces the height of the engine. So if maybe one day we are gonna install this inside the chassis, we have a smaller assembly to work with. In the last episode, one of the parts that also failed was this crankshaft that I welded out of scrap metal I had laying around. But PCB Way stepped in and offered help with the parts needed to build a proper crankshaft. They look amazing. CNC machined out of alloy steel 4340. They also went through all the heat treatment and processes this material requires to be both reliable and performance oriented. Thanks to PCB Way, now we have a crankshaft that can hopefully reach 10,000 RPM. If you want to check all their services, you have a link in the video's description. One more time, a big thank you to PCB Way for sponsoring this project. But to put these parts together, I needed the hydraulic press. So I had to get one. Unfortunately, I lost all the files where I put together the crankshaft, so here I am crushing a tomato in Texas style. Anyways, here is the crankshaft all put together. As you can tell, we have bigger bearings, upgraded from these small 6000 RS bearings to this huge 6204 RS, basically we doubled up in size. The next upgrade is the connecting rod, printed out of PA12 CF15 or carbon fiber reinforced nylon. I wanna say a big thank you to my Patreon Brad for providing me with all the upgrades my 3D printer needed to be able to print this material. If you would also like to support this build, make sure to check out the Patreon link in the video description. As you can tell, the new connecting rod is almost double the thickness of the old one. We also have better bearings, so this thing should move like butter. Now let's put the crankcase together, screw in the studs and install the new piston. After the 8 seconds run we had, the old PLA piston melted and lost all the compression. So we are upgrading to a carbon fiber reinforced nylon piston that hopefully is gonna last a lot longer. Because PLA softens at around 60 degrees Celsius and PA12 CF15 at 160 degrees. So this thing should give us a bit more extra running time. The cylinder got a fresh sleeve and it was ready to go. Now that we have the cylinder on, let me show you the new head. On the previous head, the exhaust port melted, so the valve couldn't close properly. To make sure that doesn't happen anymore, I added a 10mm precision cut aluminum plate that I've cut to length. made a template so I know exactly where to drill and cut. I made some threads for the spark plug, nice and smooth. Then I drilled a bunch of holes to make the rough shape of the head. 
I lapped and polished the valve seats. As you can tell now we have the same size valve ports both for the intake and the exhaust. This is the difference between the old and new exhaust valve. The old one had a diameter of 11.5 mm and the new one 17.4 so around the 6 mm increase. Hopefully the bigger exhaust valve is gonna help with better heat management inside the engine. The actual head is printed out of carbon fiber reinforced nylon. Next let's jump into fusion so I can show you all the upgrades D head got. This is the old head, pretty similar. But when we look at the section, you can see the completely redesigned portways. On the old head, the ports had a steep 90 degrees angle that restricted the airflow. So the new design should let air in and out of the engine with very low restriction. Well, I got everything installed, so I think it's time to start this bad boy. If you scream that your screen it's a fuel issue you are right the battery i had on the fuel pump was almost dead so it didn't make the proper fuel pressure let's try it one more time with a fresh battery this time i checked the fuel pressure gauge With these runs we already beat the old runtime record, but the engine still had more in it, so I jumped in another testing session. Now it's done, completely out of compression. There we have it guys, a new record runtime. We didn't hit 10,000 RPM today, but I will keep redesigning and throwing parts at this engine until we reach this goal. Thank you for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.